What's up everyone, my name is Alex Costa. Welcome back to my channel. You know, so many people ask me, Alex, how do I become a more handsome man? What do I, what do, I do? I'll tell you what. A lot of guys think that being handsome means wearing designer clothes, designer shoes, expensive this, expensive that, and that is not always the truth. The difference between handsome men and just regular guys isn't that. It's the grooming guys, the grooming secrets that they use every single day to look better and better. And that is exactly what I'm sharing with you guys today. By the way, if you're new here, hi, my name is Alex and this is my channel. I post men's fashion content. I post a lot about men's grooming, hair, fitness, dating advice, and so much more. And we just passed 3 million subscribers, which is insane. Thank you guys so much. If that sounds good to you, if you wanna learn more about those subjects, then hit that subscribe button below and join the family. All right, let's get into this video. The first thing that guys need to do to look better, to look more handsome, to be more attractive is is stop shaving their eyebrows. That is right. A lot of guys will take a razor and just shave their eyebrows. And I can guarantee you that is not going to look good. That is going to be a disaster. So instead of using a razor, instead of using a knife or scissors, please don't do that. <laughs> and use tweezers instead. That is actually made for your eyebrows. You can literally pluck all the little hairs that are growing in between here, connecting the two eyebrows, and get rid of that unibrow. I remember when I was in school and one of my friends came into class and man, everyone looked at him and started laughing right away. And I felt so bad, but it was actually pretty funny because he took a razor and he just shaved it down here. He had a unibrow and it, he ended up shaving way too much. His eyebrows were very short and very far apart. That is not a good look. Please do not do that. And you know what? Yes, he was probably bullied that day, but you know what? He learned a lesson. We all learned a lesson. Thank you for teaching me that lesson when I was young. And now we know, use tweezers instead. Number two, using technology to level up your grooming to a standard that is unachievable otherwise. And what that means is, guys, it's 2021. There are so many tools available to us right now that will make us look so much better. And I'll show you, man, the difference is insane. That is because today's video sponsor is Axoglade Spade. And I can guarantee that a Q-tip will not even come close to what this can do. Guys, look at this. This is the most efficient tool that you can use to clean your ear without any risk of injury. It's basically a very sleek pen-sized tool that comes with a camera that connects to your phone. And this gives you a clear, unobstructed view of everything inside your ear, allowing you to see and remove any earwax or dry skin or whatever it is that you have going on in there. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The first time I used this, I was like, wow. This is actually disgusting, but then you think, hey, it's in my ear. And I will say the camera makes everything seem so much bigger. So when you're scraping your ear and you're trying to get things out and you think that you have this huge lump of earwax, it's actually pretty small. So it just looks weird, but it's normal. And this is great because it gives you a clear view of inside your ear and you can remove the earwax instead of pushing it further in with cotton swabs or Q-tips. It comes with these ear picks and they are engineered to gently scoop all of that earwax out, you know, at any depth for any ear shape. It's actually very, very easy. And it comes with a light so you can see exactly what is going on in there. This LED light is very, very bright. And another huge reason why the Axoglade Spade is better than Q-tips is because Q-tips are not reusable. Hopefully you're not reusing Q-tips. And the Axoglade Spade, you can reuse it forever. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. At first I was like, okay, let's see if this is actually true, if it's actually a good product. I use it and I was amazed. It is a very, very good product. It feels solid. It cleaned my ear very well without any uh, issues without me feeling uncomfortable. And it is so much better than a Q-tip because you're not pushing any of that ear wax into your ear. You're just scraping things out. And you can clearly see what you're doing and what is going on in your ear because the camera is so good. And right now they're offering you 22% off because they have a winter sale. Plus, because you're a part of the family here, you get an additional 10% off if you use the code Alex. Plus they have free shipping. So check out the link below. Trust me, you are never going to need Q-tips ever again. Again. Next up guys, if you are traveling and you're bringing big bottles of cologne like this here, you're doing it wrong. And I'll tell you why. First of all, you're never going to need this much cologne for any of your trips. This is like 
seven months, eight months worth of cologne if you're using it every single day. And second of all, you're gonna have to check this in. This cannot go in a carry-on. They will not let you bring this in the plane. So what is the solution? Well, this goes away and you use a travel atomizer, which are these little guys right here. As you can see, this one here is empty, but it's very, very easy to use. The bottom of this atomizer has a little hole. So what you do is you pull the top out of the button from your cologne, and then you literally just press this on to your cologne and the juice will go in there and now you can bring various of your colognes however many you need maybe three or four for your trip right here it is amazing it is life-changing and then you press it a few times and it will start filling up as you can see the juice is already in there and now you have fragrance right in there easy to travel with this smells amazing done about two years ago, I was traveling with one of my friends. He doesn't travel very much, so he completely forgot about the rules and brought a big bottle of cologne in his carry-on. And they didn't let him go through. They said he could either go back and check it in or he had to throw it away. And we weren't checking any bags in, so he had to throw away a $90 bottle of cologne which is insane. Next up guys, something that will make a huge difference is making sure that you have a nice bright white smile. And how are you going to achieve that? Well, there's many different ways. The first thing I'll say is make sure that you, if you drink coffee or if you have some food and you don't have time or a way to brush your teeth, at least swoosh some water in between your teeth and get that out because What's gonna happen if you don't is you're going to stain your teeth, especially if you're drinking coffee, soda, or anything like that. Or what you can do is get whitening strips, and you can get these at any pharmacy, and what you can do is apply them every month or so. And these you live on, leave on for about two hours, sometimes one hour, that should be enough. I will say make sure that you're not overusing these because they do strip away the protection, the enamel that you your teeth have. So make sure that you're not overusing these. Now this next one is something that I don't think I've ever actually mentioned in any of my videos and I did it the other day and I was like wait a second have I ever talked about this before this is something that my audience needs to know you guys need to know this I tell you guys to wash your face and moisturize twice a day you guys know that, that those are the basics but do you also moisturize your neck and your hands as you get older you start to get lines all over your your hands and definitely lines on your neck as you can see those lines right there and that shows age, those are wrinkles, those are permanent wrinkles. You can look at any person that is over 50 or 60 and they will have those lines and they're pretty pronounced. Now, if you moisturize your neck every single day, if you moisturize especially the top of your hands every single day, that will help a lot. And it's something that I do every single day, but I never even realize it. So what I do is I'll wash my face and then when I moisturize, I moisturize it here. And then I just apply moisturizer from the bottom going up like this. As you guys know, anytime you're applying moisturizer, you want to move your hands upwards like that so you're not pulling your skin down. And it's so easy because you're already doing your face. You're already moisturizing your face. You might as well just do your neck as well and then grab some and do your hands before you head out. You know that having a proper skincare routine is extremely important. When it comes to my skincare routine, I am going above and beyond to make sure that I look my best for years to come. Guys, make sure to check out Axel Glade Spade. It's such an amazing device. I've been using it like every other day since I got it and it's Amazing. I'm always like, what is in my ear today? What it's a, it's a little gross, but it's so, so good and it works really, really well. So make sure to check them out and use the code Alex to get an additional 10% over the 22% off that they're having in their winter sale. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe button below and join the YouTube family. I'm also posting on Instagram and TikTok pretty much every single day. So go check them out. They're listed below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Peace.